Really the yes, and, and you know, you look at the first four, it was, it was different situations, and finally we had an opportunity. Uh, obviously, we did have a little bit of weather, but we were able to come out and throw the ball and get Deshaun going, and you know, I was excited to see all the receivers get involved in the action. We had a lot of big plays by a lot of guys. Again, another credit to the offensive line. You know, you, you know those guys don't get enough credit. You know, they've been challenged, they've been questioned, you know, from day one uh, about this football team. Probably the most questioned position group on the team, and all they've done is come out and just four of the five games right for over 200 yards, you know, wins gone three games in a row, 100 yards rushing. Uh, they take pride in that. Again, you know, a good defensive front, one sack that they gave up. Uh, obviously, still got some things to clean up there, man. But they're just working. So really, you know, we talk about the skill guys and, and all the statistics, but you know, I'm just so happy for that offensive line that they're able to to experience the balance of running and throwing it because of the work that they put in. To go out and score like 90 seconds into the game, get that hot start, no no lags in days below anything. Just how how big was that? You know, that was big. That's something that. We we said, you know, last week uh, we knew we were going to have to do our part to help the defense, and what we could do this week to help the defense versus that style of offense is to go out and to, and to get ahead, you know, and to kind of take them out of their element. We knew that you're going to be limited on possessions. We, you probably can account for, for having about three or four less than you normally would throughout the course of a game, so it was imperative that we wanted to get off to a hot start. And, you know, that's two games in a row where we've come out and been able to score on that first try. Yeah, a couple of guys offensive line-wise, is that by design to plug in like one out of the five and kind of get through more? You know, I was through the course of the game. You're going to get guys that are that are banged up. They got to go in there, and, and then obviously later in the game we wanted to play. You know, all those guys give them some experience, and, and then obviously we do have that that first five. But you got to have depth because you look at Louisville game. You're down to your, your third team guy that's really an inside guy that's got to play tackle. So it's good that Robbie's able to do that in certain situations when you can afford it. Score. Yeah, score. Score is okay. He was back in there uh, later in the game. Obviously last year this was the game Deshaun went down. Just his game. He hasn't had an injury like that since, but just what has he been able to do more now this year? This time? You know, this time, uh, obviously, we, we still had design runs for him, but he was able to, to sit in the pocket, not feel the pressure, and deliver the ball downfield. You know, he was he was accurate. Uh, obviously, we did we did drop a couple balls, uh, probably some calls I could do better to help him out, but I thought he did a really good job of managing the game, taking the runs when they were available to him, uh, but finding the guys and, and knowing from a defensive structure where the open guy was going to be, and he found them pretty much all night. After last week where you kind of had to play the server and deal with the weather, how good was it to open the playbook up a little bit more today? You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of the same stuff we were doing, but the conditions allowed us to be able to, to take advantage of some of the downfield throws, and it was good. To, you saw we had a little bit of a package for Ray Ray trying to get him involved with his dynamic skill, and, and so it was good to have that opportunity to continue to build uh, each uh, each week, and I think that is really what's helped the offensive line is that we're able to kind of kind of keep it with the, the main thing, the main thing, and not expand too much, but we're also able to put some wrinkles in our, off of our base stuff. What's Dion done to, to earn more playing time, earn you guys' trust? Well, if you look at him, he's, he's, we, we, we've known all along that he was a playmaker, but he's playing faster. You know, he's, he's starting to get a better understanding of the system. So it's not just situational play that you can put him in. You can throw him out there, and you can get into the rhythm of a, uh, of a series and have him out there and let him go make a play when it's available, as opposed to just trying to run him on in a specific situation for a specific play. Jordan Leggett looks like he had his best game in quite some time, blocking, catching the ball. Talk about his effort this week. You know, it just... If you go back a couple of years when he first got here, you know, he was a young guy, immature, just so proud of him, the leadership, and, and he's playing with toughness, and it's, and it's good to be able to reward him because they got a hard job, those tight ends do, because they got to be fullbacks, they got to be receivers, they got to do a lot of the dirty work. But, you know, he's a matchup problem for people, and it's good that the last couple of games we've been able to get the ball in his hands, and he's really emerging as a playmaker for us. Zach Brooks is one of those guys that's been battling injury after injury. How good is it to see him like, get out there and have some success? Oh, you're not going to find a better young man than Zach Brooks, and, and through all the uh, the injuries and the, and the adversity, he just persevered. And so to see him have success and, and, uh, and need to give him the ball a little bit more because it seems like every time he touches it, he, uh, he has a big play. But, you know, it's just big for him, big for his confidence and, you know, his leadership that he brings to the room. Um, it's just it's just tremendous. So happy for all those guys to see him get in there and have an opportunity. Last couple of games, we weren't able to play all five of those guys, but it was really good to get all five backs in there and get them touches because, again, you're going to need all of them uh, down the stretch. Solidified himself as a number two back. Well, you know, that that's going to be a situation that's going to be week to week. I really want to challenge those guys and have them ready to go. Uh, you know, he finished the week, was ready for the he, – he was the number two guy. He was the first man up. And hopefully, you know, if he can do like Wayne and continue to separate, then he'll have that spot. But we're still challenging all those guys. Because uh, they're all dynamic, they're all good players, uh, giving everybody an opportunity week in and week out to, to push for that spot. Being able to involve so many different people, what does that do just for the team around? Well, it's it's really, really good because.
because then now they, they get to taste the success, and so they're hungrier. And so your competition level is, is, is even greater throughout the course of the week, and that's what we're going to need to, to get to a, to a point to where we're consistent with everybody battling. And then as, a, as, a, uh, as an offense, you just let your, let your game flow. You know, you're able to just call the offense. It doesn't matter who's out there. You know, you're not worried about if it's a young guy, old guy. If you got the guy in the right spot, they're all uh, stepping up and making plays. And then it just helps their confidence because you're going to need everybody to make plays. Um, that first play of the game, the reverse to Ray Ray, is that something you saw on film with Georgia Tech that you thought that might be a good opportunity to run that play? Or was it to get him a little confidence? It was, it was, it was a combination to get him a confidence because we know that, that – uh, you know, you got to have some design stuff to get the ball in his hands to help him build his confidence and be the dynamic player. And then they show some things on defense. And, and Coach Sweeney, I give Coach Sweeney the credit for that one. You know, he studied all week and, and, uh, and he was ready for it. And a little bit something different than how we started the game. You know, we've been pretty, you know, I wouldn't say conservative, but we, we start a lot of the games off with a run, you know, trying to set the tempo up front. And just a little bit of a change of direction. And, you know, I think we're about one block away from it actually being a really big play. You guys were kind of forcing the issue with Deion to try to, I guess, get him. Right, to build, to build confidence. And then, and then, and again, you know, you go back to last week, and I know there was a lot of question of, of the situation, but conditions were a lot different last week, and we did what we needed to do to win the game. There was an opportunity where we wanted to come out, and, and I challenged the guys and said, let's go be who we are. You know, the first four games of the season were all different. The first two, the, you know, the first team was done in the first half. Second game, we're up at Louisville in a, in a, in a dog fight, and they're not going to give us the pass. We had to run the ball. Then last week, it's a, it's a, it's a hurricane. So I challenged them and said, let's come out and be explosive and let's be who we are and show them that, hey, we can make fields, uh, make classes, uh, make plays without throwing the ball as well. Hunter Renfro is kind of the forgotten man amongst all those five stars, but he continues to make big catches. Too. You know what? It's like Coach Winnie said, man. He's got yeah, he's got ice water in his veins. I mean, he's just a, he's just a football player. If you saw him walking by, you probably would look back past him and think he's in the band or something. But uh, he's just a heck of a football player. He comes from a football family. His dad is a high school coach, so he's grown up doing it. He's competitive. He's tough. And, and again, you know, that's just a testament to the competition. If you're going to make plays, then you're going to be the one out on the field. Was today maybe the beginning of his career emergence as the team's deeper? Who's that? Uh, yeah. You know, we hope so. You know, it was good to see him go up and attack the ball. And, you know, that's something that, that, that everybody talks about, but that's, that's natural. You know, it's hard, it's hard to get guys who, who don't play above the rim to be able to do that. Now, you get them better over time as you work, but uh, there's some guys like a Mike Williams and a Luke, those guys we've had in the past, they just had that knack for it. He has that knack, he just needed the confidence. So it was good, for, good to see him go make that play.